This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV and today we're speaking to Michael Zemo from Metla Toledo and he's going to tell us about their Flash DSC-1 calorimeter. Thank you. Uh, the Flash DSC-1 is the latest and greatest innovation from Metler Toledo. This is the fastest commercially available calorimeter in the world currently. It came out in December of 2010 and what makes this instrument so novel is really the workflow concept has changed. On this MEMS chip uh, is actually uh, the calorimeter and it contains the furnaces and the sensing measurement device all on this chip which makes novel sample preparation or even post analysis or post treatment of the sample very easy. Another novel thing about the Flash DSC-1 is its ability to heat and cool very fast. In fact, it can heat as fast as 2.4 million degrees C per minute and cool at a speed of 240,000 degrees C per minute. Here you see me taking out the sensor and changing the sample quite easily. And the speeds are important because when we think about the polymer industry, we talk about injection molding or blow molding or blow melting and high speed processes in general. It's important to study the polymers with regard to their metastable states. And now we have a device that's commercially available that allows you in the laboratory to run the materials under exactly the same speeds that occur in the process. So when you think about a mold uh, injection machine and the part coming out, the surface cooling rates are on the orders of hundreds or up to a thousand degrees a second. And the morphologies of the polymers can actually change at those speeds. And now we actually have a piece of equipment for our customers to actually understand, investigate, and design their materials so that it works properly under the high speed conditions, thus uh, giving them the kind of material properties and mechanical performance that they desire. And those small sample chips that you have, they're, they're easy to keep an archive samples with? Absolutely. They're actually, each chip is uh, uh, serialized. They're meant to be archived. What's really novel about this is as long as you go through the melt and you don't uh, physically decompose the sample, you actually can rerun them. And you can measure things like, well, what's the critical cooling rate to make my uh, polymer system completely amorphous? Or uh, what is the critical cooling rate uh, for the crystallization to occur? Uh, these types of parameters are very important when you're thinking about the molding and manufacturing of high quality parts. And um, by having this, this on a small chip, you can easily remove it. Maybe you want to go and take a look at how that polymer system does under a UV source or a weathering uh, type simulation. And then you can just simply put this chip into that weathering chamber and then come back, place it back in the instrument and make the same measurements over again and understand what's changed uh, uh, in the polymer system. And are there any other big advantage between your system and a more conventional calorimeter? I think the biggest uh, uh, advantage is the fact that this is really a complementary technique. It's a research tool. Uh, by allowing you to heat and cool the sample at process conditions, now we can actually go in and do uh, active process optimization for customers. Uh, maybe they have specialty polymer systems for particular customers that need higher crystallinity or lower crystallinity to enhance the mechanical strength of the materials. And now they actually can take their standard stock materials that they run maybe on a conventional DSC, run it at the process conditions or maybe in a difficult molding situation and, and really fully understand the impact of the process speeds and maybe they need to tune up or tune down that process speed so that in the end they get the material properties that they desire. So you think it's probably mimics production environments more accurately than a more conventional device? Absolutely. You know, conventionally our customers are, you know, analytical scientists in the laboratory and this now technology helps bridge that gap between the laboratory and the production floor where the production engineers are concerned about quality, throughput and really reducing the failure uh, percentage of products coming out of their line. Okay, and if anyone wants more information on the Flash DSC-1, they can find that on your website? Go to www.mt.com forward slash TA. All right, Michael, thanks very much for spending a few minutes and telling us about the Flash DSC-1. Thank you so much.